What if you needed to create a design that comes in at an angle, but you don't have an existing reference plane you can work from? We'll come back to this example in just a second. For now, let's go up to Construct and find Plane at Angle. What this lets you do is create an angled plane based on some existing geometry. You can select an axis and then turn the slider to get the angle that you want or type in the value that you want. You can also use existing geometry. If I were to select this existing model edge and choose plane at angle, we now can create an angled plane off this reference edge. Remember that sometimes you may need to create this in a series of steps. What I'd like to do is have a plane that's sitting off in space. I'll select this XY plane and then I'll drag it out roughly where I want it. Let's say that we want it right here. Remember that planes are infinite. This new reference plane, although small, can always be dragged to be larger just for visualizing. Any new planes that you create will be added as construction geometry in this folder. And now that I have this plane off in space, I can start a sketch on this new plane. If I create a sketch, I can create a line anywhere that I'd like the rotation to happen. I sketch this line, make sure that it's vertical. And on this new line, we can rotate a plane. We can create a plane at angle. I rotate it to the angle that I need. I click OK, and now we have a plane that we can sketch on. Remember, you can hit V for visibility, and that will hide and show things dynamically in the model. And so if I now create a sketch, I can now create a circle exactly where I want this to go. Friendly reminder, when you're extruding up to a series of surfaces that are uneven, you can use this extent type to object. I'm going to select the face, and then there's some options right here where I can include the adjacent faces, which now allows this to solve around that bend. We'll click OK. Now we have a new angled object based off of our new angled plane. Hey, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.